Opening tip, Crumley and Andre Saversoft. Scots have the first possession. Here's Jones with the pass over to Chris Barnett. Scott swinging it over. Here's Will Crumley on the high block, guarded by Saversoff. You mentioned he's a good post player. Fades back, misses the first shot. Saversoff on the rebound. Can you see right there, they want to get Will Crumley involved. A look at the Eagles starting five. We mentioned Eliza McCadden in the starting rotation the last five games, now making it six and gets things started for the Eagles. Beautiful little half spin in the post. Elijah McCadden being aggressive early. Curley averaging almost 12 points a game and five rebounds a game. Brady Palmer down on the baseline. Crumley kicks out to Jones. Jones drives the left hand short. Rebounded by Getty Uzapiatis. Saversoff from the corner for three. Not enough. Rebounded by Barnett. Look at the starting five for the Scots, who played very well in their conference in the USA South Division at 6-2, led by Will Crumley. But Chris Barnett has been a driving force as well. Pass is tipped. However, the Scots recover. Promise Igbanu goes up over Kamari Brown. Tough finish there, but Promise. So after missing the first two shots, the Scots get one to fall. Use a Piatis, goes down to McCadden, wanted on the low block. Here's Trey Cobbs, top of the key for three. Saversoff on the miss and put back. A lot of these players for Georgia Southern in their second season with the Eagles brought in by head coach Brian Berg. And now you're starting to see some consistency from the Eagles this season. That's right, you are seeing consistency. As we talked about, Elijah McCadden, he's consistently scoring points. Kamari Brown, another big player that's starting to emerge for the Eagles, and Andre Saversov. So you're seeing a lot of players um, as Kamari Brown right there as a speak. It's a nice three. You're seeing a lot of these players start to blossom and uh, play very consistent basketball. First three of the game for the Eagles. Kamari Brown started the last four games now for Georgia Southern. Crumley. Posting up down low, tipped away by Saversoff and stolen by the Eagles. In transition, McCadden drives, has it stripped. Jones to the corner, Barnett for three, yes. And that was one thing that the Eagles head coach Brian Burke said need to watch out for against the Scots. They are a great three-point shooting team. That's right, they are. You see right there, Chris Barnett knocks one down. Very talented player, and pretty much every single player on this court can hit the three for this Covenant Scots team. So have to be aggressive, has, have to be able to fill the lanes and not allow for open threes. First foul, and we'll see our first substitutions for Georgia Southern. Prince Toyambi and Cam Bryant checking in. The first foul for Covenant College on Promise Igbanu. Use the Pietists with inbound from the baseline. 7 5 start over three minutes in. McCadden gets that one to fall. And you can see there, Elijah McCadden with that wingspan, he's loving that matchup. And he's going, he's going to go in the post as much as he can until they stop it. McCadden, a four year player for Georgia Southern from Rocky Mountain, North Carolina. Another steal for the Eagles. Brown out to McCadden. Use the Pietists open for three. Toyambi tried to save it and keep it in bounds, but doesn't get it in in time. Georgia Southern, four of seven to start from the field. Covenant College, two for five. And another substitution for Georgia Southern, as we'll see Grant Weatherford in. Eagles with an early press, putting pressure on Igbanu, without the Palmer. Barnett's pass stolen by Weatherford, and use a Pietis. Beautiful. A lot of these guys, you know, they're high recruits. Um, they're good ball players. So when you see Covenant play against these these players, you get to see what your team's made of. So it's a very important game. 
The Scots also have some players who have made some made some noise in their own division in their own conference. Will Crumley being one of them, a two-time USA South Player of the Year in his career. Six to shoot for the Scots, nowhere to go. Barnett drives in, one to shoot, lets it fly. Off the right side, rebounded by Weatherford. And that's just great defense, great on ball defense right there. Zapiatis drives and draws a foul. Another substitution for the Eagles as Zapiatis checks That's out and we'll see Trey Cobbs return. His first. Team second. Yeah, you see right here, Getty tries to drive and just a little hand check right there by uh, Jesse Conard. Cobbs to McCadden, 10 to shoot for the Eagles. On the right side, Cobbs over to Cam Bryan. Bryan will drive, two to shoot, fades back, and that's short. Off the front iron, rebounded by Barnett. Five minutes have gone by in the opening half. Jones. Trying to work past Weatherford and denied wow. by Toyambi. What a block. Eagles have numbers. Cobb will go all the way. Can't finish on the other end. Prince Toyambi on that block, though. I mean, he got up there. Yeah, Toyambi, 6'7", redshirt junior in his second season with Georgia Southern. Jones. Now the top, Kynard. Seven to shoot. Jones drives the baseline, pulls up. And is rebounded by Toyami. McCadden. Burst of speed. Ran into a wall. Eagles keep possession. Toyami hands it right back to McCadden. Ten to shoot. To the corner. Bryant drives, nothing Cam to net. Bryant. Cam Bryant, his first basket. I'll tell you what, this length of this Georgia Southern team is really bothering Covenant right now. A lot of tough shots by Georgia Southern, but you let them get in the paint, it's only so much you can do. And the Scots currently in a scoring drought over the last three and a half minutes. Barnett, good defense from Cobbs. They've had a tough time getting shots up, and that's going to be a foul on the Eagles. The Scots, two of eight here to start, and we'll see substitutions on both sides. Trey Cobbs will pick up his first foul. Yeah, just a little too aggressive there by Trey Cobbs. You gotta keep your hands to yourself. And also Toyami there trying to reach in in the process, so a few substitutions for both teams. Andre Saversoff back in. It's the first time we're also seeing Carlos Curry, we're number 25. And jump ball. Possession arrow goes to Georgia Southern. So as soon as Curry comes in, makes an impact. And Coach Berg talked about it. Carlos Curry, he's really emerging. And they love his length, they love his size. And if he can play like that consistently, he will be a force to be reckoned with in the Sun Belt. Curry started his career at Ole Miss for two years, then went to Northwest Mississippi Community College before transferring to Georgia Southern. It's been a work in progress getting him back in rhythm. And he made a big improvement in the win over Campbell. Weatherford takes a three. In and out. And rebounded by the Scots. Oh, thought there was a little push off there. Kynard, guarded by Weatherford. Good switch on defense from the Eagles. Good pressure from Curry. Here's a corner three, nothing but net, taken by Kiner. Tough shot by Kiner right there. You see the pass to the corner, hands in his face, but he says what well, you can do good, I can do better. So great shot. Kiner one for six on three-pointers this year. Kamari Brown, the answer back for the Eagles and does. Second made three for Georgia Southern. Both of them made by Brown.
Davon Platt, guarded by Curry, drives with the left hand, too strong off the glass, rebounded by Savrasov. And again, that's just Curry's length. Might not have gotten the, the block, but you know, with his length, he's able to you know, make shots miss. Yeah, standing at 6-11, the pass from Cobbs. Brown from the corner, three for three from long range. And that was beautiful off. A lot of the teams that they played in other conferences are picked to finish the top of their respective conferences. Wofford, one, one of those teams out of the SOCON. Georgia Tech, that was a two-point loss. Moorhead State's a good team in their, in their conference, as well as Mercer as well. Here's Crumley trying to work through two Eagles and draws a foul. And good post positioning right there by Will Crumley. You see he got double, but it doesn't matter. And you see right here, Savrasov trying to guard him. And then, yeah, just a hack on the wrist right there. Easy foul to call. Good response, though, from Brian, because once his player went through, went back and noticed Crumley was there and tried to double team him on the low block. And you're going to see a lot of that. 6'9", 250, you got to put bodies on him. So good help defense, but, you know, got to, Got to keep your hands to yourself, like I said. Oh, that's no. going to go caught off. Ibanu left early. So only one free throw will count for Crumley. That's his first point of the afternoon. Eight point Eagles lead as we are approaching the midway point of the first half. Savrasov. Kicks out, good ball movement from the Eagles. Corner three from Kamari Brown. He stays hot. Four of four from long range, and he has 12 points. And again, beautiful ball movement. Hit the open man, Kamari Brown. Hits his fourth three of the night. He is someone that's really improved for Georgia Southern as Ibaknu answers back on the low block over Yusa Piatis. Tough little drop step there by, ba by Banu. The Eagles have made their last three shots. Heat check, Kamari Brown, that one's short. However, McCadden on the offensive rebound, he misses but draws a foul. I think Brown was a little bit too far back beyond the arc on that short three. Well, you know, he's four for four. Had to have a little heat check there. Third team foul for Covenant College. McCadden will go to the free throw line for two. He's a 59% free throw shooter on the year so far. As we mentioned, McCadden making his sixth consecutive start. So you see right there, Banu goes up for the challenge and just slaps him on the wrist on the way up. Second foul for Ibagnu as well. So early foul trouble for the senior in Lagos, Nigeria. McCadden hits both. Ibagnu kicks back out to Jackson Fitzgerald. Palmer almost lost it. Good defense from McCadden. Crumley. Trying to work past Bryant, goes over Bryant and scores. And there it is. Have to have two bodies on Will Crumley. Too big and too talented in that post. Crumley averaging 17 points and seven rebounds a game this season. Bryant answers back. Cam Bryant, the sophomore from Camellia, Georgia, has made great improvements from his freshman season last year to his sophomore season this season. That's right, and I think it's just confidence. You see right there, Cam Bryant, Gives him a little step, like he's about to drive, and knocks it down in his face. So, playing confident basketball right now. And Banu off the glass on the front iron. Savrasov came down with the miss. Bryant directing traffic. And they're nine minutes to play in the first half. Bryant. Back out to McCadden. Two-man game going on right now for Georgia Southern. Oh, nice step back from McCadden as he knocks it down as well. Stop it. What a <laughs> shot. I mean, beautiful step back, and McCadden just knocks it down. That's a beautiful shot right there. McCadden, the perfect four for four in the opening half. 
But she's make that three for three. They're actually going to call that a deep two. Still, it's a beautiful move from the senior McCadden. And look at this right here. Elijah McCadden drives to his right, says, nope, I'm going to step back on you. Knocks down the jumper. And you see right there, his foot barely on the line. Yeah, his right foot touched the, touched the three-point line, so it counts as a deep two, but the Eagles are playing well so far, making five of their last six. Crumley at the free throw line for two. Knocks down the first. Returning to the game for the Eagles, number three. Substitutions, as we'll see, to Ayambi and Cobbs back in for the Eagles. And that's the thing about this Eagles roster. Head coach Brian Berg said that he has about 10 players that can start at any given moment throughout the season. He does. I mean, you look down the line, Grant Weatherford, Prince Toyambi, Getty Uzipitis. All these guys get valuable minutes on this roster. So, you know, it's not a one-man show here. The rotation has definitely changed from year one to year two for Berg. Now for more consistent rotation compared to last season when you have a lot of new players and trying to find that right mix. McCadden, that's going to be a three, but he misses. Scott's in transition. Palmer lays it in and will get the fast in. Also, four of ten from long distance, but the Scots, 43% from the field. And that and one free throw knocked down by Brady Palmer makes the Scots four, four from the charity strike. Number 25, Miles Jones. Getting to the line, slowing this game down. Exactly what the Scots need to do if they want to stay in it. So Palmer checks out, and Miles Jones will check back in. Eight minutes to go in the first. Eagles with an eight-point lead. Kamari Brown over to Toyambi. Brown gets the screen, goes right back to Toyambi, waits for his moment. Second chance, draws a foul. Hit from behind by the freshman, Parker Ali. Yeah, it looked like he might have got him on the back of the head. Team's fourth. So you guys, Parker All. As Toyambi will shoot free throws and actually put the foul on Jonathan Granat for the Scots. You see right here, Prince Toyambi goes up and yeah, he does get him on the head right there. He does. And actually, and that's Parker All. Yeah, I mean, for a moment they have the foul towards Granat, but you saw there, Granat had his hands down with all that went behind tapping Toyambi. So, nonetheless, Prince Toyambi, with only a 47% free throw shooter, goes two for two from the line. Jones thought about driving the baseline, kicks out the Fitzgerald. Good move from Fitzgerald, can't finish, however. All fights for the rebound, and it's stolen by Bryant. McCadden to the corner. Brown, pull-up jumper off the left side. Jones corrals the miss. Jones, the junior from Alexandria, Virginia. Nice drive, rebound, Brown. Good pass out to Weatherford, who lays it in for two. Nice run there by Weatherford. Catching the Scots off guard with a quick layup. Weatherford listed as a fifth year for Georgia Southern. Has spent a lot of time playing college basketball. All can't get that behind the back or the underneath layup to go. I tell you what, though, that was a nice backdoor cut by Parker All. Just couldn't finish it. Bryant to Kamari Brown. Brown will drive and let him good floater and finish. Kamari Brown with four. And right now, there's not much Scott can do to stop it. They look to make adjustments as Granat the pass to Jones. Gets a screen from Granat. And a foul on Curry. A little too aggressive there by Curry. Jordan Southern foul, zone number 25, Carlos Curry, his first. That's his Team's first foul. Returning for the Eagles, number 13, Getty Uzapaitis. Getty Uzapaitis returns for the Eagles. Will sub in for Weatherford. 
Barnett. Guarded by McCadden. Now Kynard. Oh, nice pass. Jones can't get the finish. Swatted away by Saversov. Andre Saversov coming over in the help defense and just mutilating that ball to the scoreboard. You see right here, great recovery by Saversov. It looked like Miles Jones had a step on him, but it didn't matter because Saversov said, not in my house. Well, Crumley will check back in. He's guarded by Saversov, and they switch on the inbound from the baseline. They're not. Two to shoot. Kynard doesn't know, and that's a shot clock violation for the Scots. And if you're the Scots right there, you have to know with the shot clock's on. Got to be able to get that ball off. As we mentioned, this is the second exhibition game for Covenant College this season, so this will not go towards their record. The first exhibition they had was on November 23rd against Chattanooga. That was a 100-39 loss, but McCadden, oh, nice pass from Bryant inside. And now McCadden in double figures. You see right there, McCadden just cuts right across the Scots defense for an easy layup. And Scott's currently in a drought. Over two and a half minutes without a bucket. Barnett. They have to switch they want right here. Eight to shoot. To the corner, Kynard. Pass was off. Two to shoot. And they have to throw it up. Barnett just had to get it off before the clock expired. Another violation on Covenant College. And this is what I'm talking about. You see the Georgia Southern Eagles are starting to put a lot more pressure on the ball against these Scots, and it's paying off. Scots missed their last four shots. Under five minutes to play, Eagles up by 16. Curry, handoff Bryant. Leatherford, nowhere to go. Ten to shoot, free throw line jumper off the left side by Bryant, but Curry is there for the recovery. Great follow-up by Curry right there. You see his left. Passes, tip stolen by Saversaw. Eagles in transition, passed out to Weatherford. Weatherford directing traffic, goes to Curry. Use the Pietis on the handoff. Goes through two defenders inside, shot is short, gets his own miss. Oh, good faking turnaround for you, the Pietis in his first basket. Great hustle there by Yuza Pietis to follow up after the missed shot, put it in. Jones. Barnett back out to Jones. Tend to shoot for the Scots. They're not in the corner. Ibanu with space drives through Saversov, can't get the fall. And you saw right there, they wanted to get the ball in to Will Crumley. But great defense by Getty Uzipitis to block it off. Curry to Bryant. Approaching three minutes to go in the first. Saversov has it stripped away by Banu. Good hands. Good hand by Banu right there. To the corner, Jones drives the baseline. Good help defense from Weatherford down low. And nice drive and finish by Barnett who lays it in. Basket by Chris Barnett. And that's exactly the matchup you want to see if you're the Scots. Get your guard on the big for the Eagles. Bryant can't hang on. And Banu, good defense on the Eagle post players. Barnett, what a spin. Couldn't finish it, but Gernot. 16 point Eagles lead. Currently making five of their last seven. And Covenant comes out with a little bit of a press. Here's a three from Cam Bryant is short. Rebounded by Barnett. 
in transition, kicks out to Palmer. Palmer drives the baseline. Good ball movement from the Scots here. Platt, this pass is tipped, and Banu waits for his moment over Toyambi. Hey, Banu really making his mark in this game. We've seen two steals from him that have led to points, and now that tough finish right there. Thomas Igbanu really turning it up. And 90 seconds remain in the first. McCadden to Toyambi, gets it right back. McCadden with 10 points in the first half. Kamari Brown with 14. Misses that three after making his first four from long range. Banu, pass from Palmer. Barnett finds a lane, kicks out. Eight to shoot. Platt goes down low to Crumley. Crumley fades back. That shot in and out. Good seal by Crumley, though, to get the ball. He's got to finish. Crumley has 6 nothing run for Covenant College. Cam Bryant. Step back, give it to McCadden. Use the Pietis, drives, great move underneath and finish. Use the Pietis now with four points in the first. And that's a great way to use the rim to your advantage. You see right there, Getty goes under the rim for a little reverse layup, keeping the defender from blocking it. Shot clock turned off. Barnett, 10 seconds to go. Trying to find Crumley. Here's a three from Palmer, and Palmer nothing but net. Palmer, the big up shot, but they've been able to knock them all down. The Scots will begin with possession to start the second half. Only down by 13. There's a chance they can work their way back in. You mentioned they have to get Crumley involved, but McCadden on the steal. And he'll kick it out to Cobbs. Georgia Southern shot 53% in the first half. Kamari Brown in the corner goes down low to Savrasov. Working past Crumley. Can't finish. Stays Good job in by Crumley. Good job by Crumley not to foul on that defensive possession right there. Miles Jones over to Davon Platt. Kicks it back out to Ibanu. Around the horn, the Scots go. The kick out to Fitzgerald. Ten to shoot. And Banu trying to get past Cobb. Powers his way in. How about promise and Banu? 6-4. Able to go through Cobbs. Saversov, nice pass to find Brown, but it's tipped away by Platt. And that's the second time we've seen a backdoor cut by the Eagles. Just got to get the pass there. So Cobbs will inbound on the baseline near the side. Gets them to use a Pietis. Saversov, a nice move, but can't finish. Saversov's had some good looks, but it's one of four from the field. In transition. Oh, what a beautiful pass! To Platt, no look for Bognu, but too high for Platt to finish. On the other end, Kamari Brown kicks out. Use a Pietis. Will draw a foul. Good pump fake there by Getty. Use a Pietis. Using the shot fake to his advantage, creating the foul. First team foul of the half. Third foul for Ibanu. Has to be careful here throughout a majority of the second half. The Scots have played good defense to start this half. Let's see what the Eagles have drawn up. To the corner, Brown. Back to Cobbs. Eight to shoot. Brown, step back jumper. Offensive rebound and put back by Saversal. And the Scots went to it, what looked like a 2-3 zone on defense. And it can be very hard to know your rebounding assignment when in a zone. So you saw right there, just an easy offensive rebound and put back. 
Pass is tipped by Savrasov, stolen by the Eagles. McCadden in transition. Takes it back out, finds Uzapiatis. Uzapiatis will drive, and he'll draw a foul. It's the second time Getty Uzapiatis has drawn a foul in the past minute. Playing aggressive. Brian Berg loves to see that. The first foul for Jackson Fitzgerald, the senior from Lakeland, Florida. Both teams have made all their free throws in the first half. Both of them four for four. And use a Pietis. So far this season, a perfect eight for eight. Make it now nine for nine from a charity strike. Right here, just another strip foul. You see Getty tries to drive into the hole and just a strip foul, getting him on the arm before he goes up. Use the hits both. Eagles lead up to 15. And the Eagles running a full court press. Trying to put some pressure on the Scots and force some turnovers. McCann almost got a strip on a bog new. Platt, nowhere to go. And Banu drives, nice feed inside the Crumley. And that's a great way to get Will Crumley involved. You see they bring it out past the three-point line, stretch the defense. Will Crumley's there for the dump-off pass. Use a pie to his top of the key for three. Short, Savrasov trying to get the miss into the hands of Ibanu. They go inside the Crumley again, and he draws a foul. Kamari Brown was there on the help defense under the basket. But Crumley will go to the line for two. And if you're Coach Brian Burr, you want to see Kamari Brown get there a second earlier. Um, you see a three-quarters defense in the post on Will Crumley. You have to have help defense on, on the other side if you want to get a steal. Um, that didn't happen, so we see a foul. Will Crumley's on the line. How can the Scots continue to get Crumley involved on offense in the, as the second half continues on? What they've been doing so far this half. You see that they're not necessarily forcing it to Will Crumley, but they're allowing the basketball game to be played as it should, moving the basketball. We see Promising Banu really getting involved in the middle of the defense. And let's watch this replay right here. Nice pass, and Kamari Brown just comes right over the top of him. Crumley has been one of the impactful players for the Scots throughout his career. As he cuts the lead for Georgia Southern down to 11. So Yami back in for Georgia Southern. Hand off McCadden. Kicks out. Bryant for three. Got it. Cam Bryant. Boy, is he playing today. Bryant now at seven points. He's the first Eagle other than Kamari Brown to knock down a three. Georgia Southern, five of 14 from downtown tonight. Barnett, good defense from Weatherford trying to back out and create some space. Weatherford on Crumley here. And Crumley, good block from Georgia Southern down low in the paint. In transition, Bryant finds McCadden. Catch and shoot, three. McCadden now basketball. with 13. Simple basketball right there. I think it's Mark Jackson that says it. Hand down, man down, and an easy three-pointer for Elijah McCadden. Eagles now 40% from deep. Barnett kicks out to Palmer. Palmer the jumper, got it. Basket by Brady Palmer. Call it a deep two, and Palmer now with eight points. Brady Palmer, it's a nice little jab step there, creating some space for the mid-range jumper. Weatherford finds Brown. Toyambi guarded by Crumley. McCadden. Nice find, good ball movement. Cam Bryant for three. High bounce, Toyami comes down with the offensive board. McCadden makes another man drop, but can't hit the shot, but Bryant is there on the putback down low. He now has nine. The Eagles crashing the offensive glass right now. Surprised Will Crumley's not getting in there, getting some rebounds. 
And yet again, another. I'll tell you what, Danny, he's got a nice stroke for a 6'9 big. And that's his first miss, but they're going to call the shot off. And that's a going to be a violation on you, the Pietist, who jumped a little bit too early. A little too eager to get the rebound there by Getty Uzipitis. So Cromley gets a do-over, but that one misses as well. So that's the official first miss free throw from the Scots today. I think it's important to point out, Danny, you see Carlos Curry is on the floor now, hoping that they can slow down Will Crumley as he's really turned on in the second half. Cobbs, eight to shoot for the Eagles. Cobbs stays with it and gets that one to fall. Trey Cobbs, his first basket. And that's just a nice seal off by Carlos Curry. You know, they'll give the points to Trey Cobb right there, but Carlos Curry in the hole, sealing off the man, giving Trey Cobb a wide open layup. That's the little things that Eagles head coach Brian Berg talked about with Curry making improvements. However, Palmer gets that one over Curry for two. Brady Palmer is putting together a heck of a game quietly with 10 points. Brian on the other end, that one won't go. Curry went for the rebound to push it back to Brian, but Curry will be called for the foul. It'll be his second. It's number 25, Carlos Curry, that's his second. Right there, Curry over the back foul right there. A little too aggressive. But you have to appreciate his play. We just talked about how he's able to seal off on the, on the Cobb shot. And that's a lot of the little things that the Eagles head coach Brian Berg talked to us about, how he's been able to make those improvements. It'll be interesting to see how he does being a primary guard to be able to cover Crumley. Crumley not on the floor at the moment. And Parker All. Curry, Gets third. hit by Curry. So Curry with three fouls already, and Saversoff going to come in for him. Returning for the Eagles, number 12, Andre Again, Saversoff. Carlos Curry sticks his hand in there and just too aggressive. Got to be more disciplined than that. You love to see the energy, but got to keep those hands back. Palmer tried to go down low to all, stolen by Cobbs, and a foul. Covenant fouls on number four, Parker All. First. Parker All, freshman from Savannah, Georgia, making his return to Southeast Georgia. Returning for the Eagles, number two, Elijah McCadden. Elijah McCadden will check back four, in for Kamari Georgia Brown. Southern along with Kamari Brown. Let's see what the Eagles have drawn up here. Trey Cobb at point. Use a Pietus. Down low. Nice pass from Kamari Brown to Eliza McCadden, who hits it from deep. And again, the off ball movement of this team right now. You see, they run an overload on one side of the court, leaving a wide open man on the other side. Great, great scheme by the Eagles to get a wide open three pointer. Foul underneath as Barnett will head to the line for two. Fouls on the Eagles, number four, Kamari Brown. Kamari Brown to pick up his first foul. Team's fifth, Chris Barnett at the line. So Chris Barnett from Wake Forest, North Carolina. A senior. See the replay right here. And it looks like two fouls by the Eagles with Getty Uzipitis getting in there as well, striking the arm. Barnett, a 68% free throw shooter, knocks down the second. So he goes one for two from the line. He's a Pietus. Down low, Kamari Brown. Brown, fade away, short. Rebounded by Palmer. Good defense right there, keeping your hands up, not fouling. Here's a drive by Granat, kicks out to Barnett. Baseline jumper swallowed away by Brown. Barnett sticks with it. Here's a jumper by Palmer from the baseline. No good. 
Cobbs in transition. One on one, what a move, but can't finish. Well, Kyrie Irving handles right there by Trey Cobb. He's a pietist to steal. Gonna lob it up. Well, he was looking for Saversoff there. McCadden use a pietist. He'll drive. Good, and this game's gonna help a lot. They went 10 and 9 last season in the unique COVID year. Have a three on the other end by Davon Platt. Excuse me, Miles Jones there on the basket. On the other end, Kamari Brown finds Toyambi. Toyambi, nice pass to McCadden, finds Sabrasov on the baseline. He can't hit. Rebound, Parker All. Here's Charlie Hester for the first time for the Scots. Jones. Nowhere to go. Good defense in the corner by Bryant and McCadden. They get the steal as well. Great awareness to trap in the corner right there by the Eagles. Bryant directing traffic. Toyambi kicks out to McCadden. Two-man game between Toyambi and McCadden right now. Toyambi trying to spin his way through multiple defenders. Hester comes down with the miss. Barnett from the wing, off the glass and short. Approaching the halfway mark here in the second. Toyambi really wants to power his way through. Can't get that one to go, but Sabersoff puts it back in. Sabersoff has done a great job for the Eagles underneath with rebounds and putbacks as Jones can't keep it in bounds. Sabersov, he's averaging 11 and a half points, almost six rebounds. He, he's one of their leading scorers on this team, so he's had a very good year, and you're seeing it tonight. And right here on the replay, Sabersov, that's just hustle, getting the offensive rebound, putting it back up. You got to box him out if you're the Scots. Sabersov has six points and eight rebounds, three of them offensive boards. So Sabersov will get a well-deserved breather on the bench. As McCadden can't hang on, stolen away by Crumley. Igbanu, his shot is stripped away. Scott's had numbers there. Great hands by the Eagles, getting the steal. McCadden, over to Bryant. Weatherford, drives past Igbanu and gets the foul. Tough finish and great balance by Weatherford. Looking like a gymnast in the air right there. Used his burst of speed to get around Igbanu. And Igbanu just trying to hang on, just could not. Right here, Grant Weatherford, he catches it in the middle. Igbanu doesn't play bad defense, but Grant Weatherford just goes up there and gets a bucket. That is a tough shot and great offense by Grant Weatherford. Weatherford known as one of the impact players for Georgia Southern off the bench. Can't convert the three-point play. That's the Eagles' first miss from the free throw line today. Igbanu trying to back down Bryant. Bryant, nice strip and steal. Toyambi comes up with it. Weatherford off the pass from Toyambi. Hand off Bryant. And you're seeing the Scots play a zone right now. Looks like the Scots were in that 2-3 zone we saw early in the first half. Get a stop, now they have the ball back. Eagles lead now at 22. Under nine minutes to go. Barnett denied by Yuza Pientis and Toyambi. Possession stays with the Scots. And it looks like Barnett had an easy layup right there, but again, you see Prince Toyambi right here. The two blocks on the play. Getty Uzipitis and Prince Toyabi both coming over and swatting that ball. That is great team defense, and Brian Berg has to be fired up about that. Nice combined efforts, and Toyambi checked out, and Carlos Curry back in for the Eagles. Barnett looking for Jones, and they will say it was tipped away by Georgia Southern.
Interesting to point out here. Oh, you see it. You saw Cam Bryant was on promising Banu, and now you see Carlos Curry switching on to Will Crumley. That's going to be the matchup. Left side of your screen, Curry versus Crumley. And Crumley finds an opening, pulls from long range, can't hit. Weatherford corrals the miss. But if you're the Scots, that is a good shot. That's an open three for your best player. It's a good shot. Travel right there. Excuse me. That's going to say a foul before the shot by Uzapiatis. And Crumley's going to get called for a foul. That's his first. And that's a 16 foul for the Scots. Jackson Fitzgerald will check in. And number 23, Jesse Kinner. Along with Jesse Kynard. Officials having a word with Crumley and Curry. So we mentioned the, that's the matchup to watch. And things got a bit chippy down low. Crumley will check out for a moment along with Igbanu. We've seen Carlos Curry play very aggressive defense in this game. Must have got under Will Crumley's skin. Bryant was trying to get Curry, but Curry cut too early. Yeah, a little miscommunication right there. Not many, not many turnovers from Georgia Southern. I was about to say, they didn't, they played clean for the most part. Just, that was just their seventh turnover in this game. And Jones. that's something Brian Berg talked about. He wants to see his team play consistent basketball, and that comes with turnovers. Possession stays with the Scots. Fitzgerald will inbound. Curry going to use that long wingspan. And Carlos Curry standing next. Standing next to him. Looks like a giant. Here's Jones. Has to kick it out. Kynard. Five to shoot for the Scots. Here's a three from Kynard. Off the left side. Cobbs. Oh. May have gotten away with a push there. Good Definitely finish on the fast break. An offensive foul that was not called right there by Trey Cobb. Here's a lob inside to Walker Mathis, and he for one was unique for head coach Brian Berg. The Eagles win 13 and 13, seven and nine in Sunbelt Conference play last year. And the Eagles lost to Arkansas State by four in the first round of the Sunbelt Conference tournament. Nice feed inside the Curry, but good defense down low by Fitzgerald. All ball since a jumper, couldn't hang on to the rebound, recovered by the Scots. Here's a three by Kiner. That one's off. Offensive rebound, Mathis, and he gets fouled. Another foul on the Eagles. We've seen a lot of aggressive Eagle defense from the Eagles, especially in those coffin corners third. on the court. Team Both teams with six fouls. Next foul puts each team in the bonus. Fitzgerald, oh, made Toyami go down. Oh, good move. However, Mathis couldn't finish. And it looked like Cam Bryant might have got away with a foul right there. It looked like he grabbed him. Nice pass from Bryant. Finding Saversoff on the other end. He has eight. The Eagles lead up to 24. The drive by Michael St. Germain. And picks up a foul as well. Getting Weatherford. Nice so, rebound there by Weatherford. Staying strong, drawing the foul. So Weatherford will go to the line for one and ones. Michael St. Germain, the sophomore from Apopka, Florida, picks up his first foul. The Scots have gone almost five minutes without a point, while Georgia Southern currently on a 6 nothing run. And we haven't seen Will Crumley. Will Crumley has been on the bench. So as you've seen the Scots having a tough time finding offense without Crumley on the floor. So with Crumley off the floor, who has to be that next player to step up for Covenant? It's got to be a team effort. You know, you see the guys on the court. A lot of these guys are role players. They all have to move the ball, and somebody's got to make shots. Somebody's got to make shots, whether it's Logan Perlman or Walker Mathis. Somebody's got to hit some open shots for the Scots. It's Gerald, Perlman, St. Germain, Kynard, 
and Mathis on the floor for the Scots. Eagles in transition. McCadden, Brown, Saversoff, Weatherford, and Toyambi on the floor for the Eagles. Brown loses it on the drive. Recovered by Kiner. Perlman for three. Off the mark, rebound McCadden. And that's a good shot. That's a good shot to take. Just got to go in. Saversoff fakes from the corner. Kicks out to McCadden. Under six minutes to go in regulation. Saversoff, hand off to McCadden. Eight to shoot for the Eagles. Weatherford gets fouled. So Weatherford will go back to the line for one and ones. Jackson Fitzgerald, that's his second. Feels like Scott's getting a little frustrated right here. Grant Weatherford drives in and don't see much there, but Rest must have saw something I didn't. They call the foul. Shooting one and one. Weatherford two for three from the free throw line so far today. And knocks down the first. Georgia Southern overall nine for ten from the charity strike. Grant Weatherford is actually the third oldest player in Division I. 25 years old. He has had a journey of a career in college basketball. Started at Purdue, went to Midland College, IUPUI, and now at Georgia Southern. And right there, a nice steal. That's experience. So it's, it's a great defense. An experienced veteran for the Eagles. Toyambi, double team. But finds an opening and goes in for two. Toyambi, his first made field goal. He has four points overall. The Eagles now lead by 30. St. Germain in the corner, drives the baseline, kicks out. Fitzgerald inside, finds an open Mathis, but Toyambi, great defense. Prince Toyambi, have yourself a game. What a block. I believe that's his third block on the night. He is just playing relentless in the paint. Third block everything. on. And how about Sabersoff on the other end for three? The Eagles just having fun at this point. Prince Tuliambi, great defensive play. Sabersoff hits an open three in the corner. The Eagles are starting to come alive and looking like a team that's ready to play in the Sun Belt. San Germain can't hit. You were right. That was Tuliambi's third block in the game today. Eagles swing the ball around. Oh, Kamari Brown from the baseline. Stop. Get a dunk from the Sun Belt logo inside the free throw line. And dunks like that really get this crowd going. And you can tell this Eagles team is just having a great time. Forcing the turnover right here with a backcourt violation. Just great job by the Eagles to pick up the pace. Things starting to break down on the other end for Covenant College. They've gone over seven and a half minutes without a bucket. And that's going to take us to our final media timeout of the game. 3.52 to go. Eagles lead by 35. <laughs> Eagles head coach Brian Byrne has to be pleased with the way his team has performed so far today. And currently, the Eagles on a 17-0 run under four minutes to go in regulation. That's exactly right. We've seen a lot of energy from this Eagles team. Carlos Curry had a great defensive game, and Prince Toyambi really setting the tone with his three blocks. So we've seen a lot of players step it up for the Eagles today. Used a Pietist, lost it, and drew a foul in the process. But overall tonight for Georgia Southern, four Eagles in double figures. Used a Pietist, the no-look. He tried to do a no-look pass. Seven. Didn't work out for him, but now we see the Scots on the line. Jesse that foul the line put the Scots one one. in the bonus, so Jesse Kiner will shoot one and ones. And that's the first point for Covenant College in over seven and a half minutes. So a strong defensive effort from the Eagles here in the second half. Like I just said, we've seen guys like Prince Toyambi and Carlos Curry take it upon themselves 
to ignite this team through defense. We want to talk about the dunks and the three-pointers, but these Eagles have came to play some defense, and it is it looks great. I love it. Cobbs jammed inside. He'll draw a foul. St. Germain will pick up his second foul. Excuse me, Kyler will pick up his second foul. Team's ninth. So it's all about carrying momentum and consistency. That's the main thing that Brian Berg talked to us about as Uzipiatis checks out. And also, in for the very first time for Georgia Southern, Jake Smith, number 34. He was a walk-on on this team and making his season debut. What a story right here. Love to see a walk-on get his chance to play in a Division I basketball game. Great opportunity for Jake Smith right here. Real quick, we mentioned consistency. How do the Eagles, how can the Eagles use this as momentum and fuel for the next game at Fordham on Wednesday? To show that defense matters. I think that, you know, we're quick to talk about the buckets Elijah McCadden's gotten and Cam Bryant, but the defense has set the tone, and if they can bring that in to Sunbelt play, and especially into the next couple games with Fordham, they're going to be a force to be reckoned with. It's going to be a real competitive Sun Belt Conference season starting on December 30th. On the inbound, Fitzgerald kicks out. And that's a long three and missed by Logan Perlman. In transition, Cobbs. Here's the layup, and how about Jake Smith? Great adjustment by Jake Smith in the air there. You saw him do a little double pump for the layup, and what a way to get, a, get your first bucket as a Georgia Southern Eagle. Great layup by Jake Smith. And he may not be done. Possession will go to the Eagles as Kiner tried to keep it in play. So you've got actually Mathis trying to keep it in play. That's got to feel good. You get your first made basket out of the way as soon as you come in. What a way to enter the game. And that's going to give him confidence. Bryant kicks out. Smith in the corner. You saw the bench rise up there <laughs> as he touched the ball. They want to see him get as many buckets as he can. Cobbs. Oh, good move. And draws a foul. Wow, hit him, hit him what with a Rondo. Fake. The OG Rondo Beautiful right there. little Rajon Rondo with the Boston Celtics in the playoffs. I mean, that is a beautiful move by Trey Cobbs. You don't see that move as much now as you as you used to back then. Trey Cobbs trying to pull something out of his bag of tricks. And speaking of Trey Cobbs, you look at this Georgia Southern team, and right here, Trey Cobbs, just stop it. Just ridiculous. I mean, putting him in the air, drawing the foul, that is beautiful basketball by Trey Cobbs. But I think it's interesting that, you know, the way this team is constructed, Trey Cops is really their only true point guard. You see Elijah McCadden and Cam Bryant bring the ball up the court, but Trey Cops is really their only true point guard. Approaching the final two minutes of regulation. And this is looking to be a Georgia Southern win here tonight. St. Germain. Scott's around the horn. Corner three, knocked down by Perlman. Great ball movement. Swing the ball around until there's somebody that's open. And you saw right there, you get an open corner three and knocks it down. Great play by the Scots. Junior from Fort Myers, Florida. Now on the other end for the Eagles. Curry hands off the Cobbs. Smith. Bryant for three, long distance, in and out. Smith tried to get the offensive board and set his corralled by Perlman. Jake Smith there almost with his fourth point of the game, almost getting an offensive rebound, putting it back up. Love the energy. Nice feed inside. Eli Witt denied. Carlos Curry. I mean, we have seen some nasty blocks by the Eagles today. What a block off the glass. Carlos Curry. And gets his own miss, second chance no good. Weatherford goes up, he draws a foul. So Weatherford will go back to the free throw line. The foul gonna go on Russell Hunter, his first. 
Grant Winifred at the line for the Eagles. And let's watch this replay right here. Looks like an easy layup. Carlos Curry denies it off of the glass. That is how you get up there and use your wingspan. You talked about this being a momentum, a confidence booster for Curry in this game and just getting more comfortable in this Eagles offense in the system and just overall. It's a great play on defense there. So Weatherford one for two inside the final minute. Eagles up by 37. St. Germain kicks out Kynard. Long three, St. Germain knocks it down. And for the Scots, while this is going to be a loss for Covenant College, it will not go to their record. This is an exhibition game for them, so they're using this moment to get some players to come in and get some momentum for them when they go back after the holidays for their next game on the 29th. And they're a good basketball team. They're a good basketball team. And right there, Jake Smith drawing the foul. The bench loves it. So Smith will shoot free throws. Logan Perlman will pick up his first foul. What a special moment for Smith here. Right here, three Scots on him, drawing the foul, making his presence known in this, in this ball game. And Smith hits both, so he'll finish with four points <laughs> in his first career game. Witt, good patience, and gets that one to fall. That'll put the Scots over 50 points for the game, but this will be a win for Georgia Southern. They will improve to 7-4 on the year. An exhibition game for Covenant College. It will not go to their record, but really competed with